Hey, Daniel. Okay. Welcome, 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 everybody. So great to see you, and we're so glad to have you as part of the AMA's Ask Me Anything with Robert Hollis on this Saturday, March 16th, one day before St. Patrick's Day. We'll be celebrating, celebrating the green, just like what Robert's wearing a little bit there. <laughs> <laughs> and who knows who may show up tomorrow in, in the Imaginators. And if yes. you want to be an Imaginator, go to roberthollis.com forward slash join and become part of the Imagination group. Uh, also part of the Inner Circle. Either way, you will become part of our group. And you can very easily do that by clicking the link at the bottom of this video if you're watching us on YouTube or at the top of the YouTube chat. And if you're here in Zoom, go to roberthollis.com forward slash join to become part of the Inner Circle and the Imaginators. We appreciate you joining us today. We're happy to have you with us. A couple of quick things before we get started because we want you to ask Robert anything. And we've got two hands raised. If you want to ask Robert a question, it's very simple. Uh, on the bottom of the Zoom, Zoom screen, uh, if you put your cursor in the middle of the screen where you see all the pictures, you'll see a bunch of buttons. You will either see reactions or if you don't see reactions there, click on the three dots that are more and then click on reactions. Then click on raise hand and that'll notify us to call on you. We have two people with their hands raised already, Bill Shoemaker and Coach Bob. So you guys are gonna be coming up. You can also ask a question of Robert in either of the Zoom or YouTube chats by just typing a question there and we will ask it on your behalf. It's that simple. Before we get started, thank you to the 7,044 subscribers to our channel. <laughs> You guys keep helping us build and grow and send out the messages to people with ears to hear. You also get a uh, first shot at uh, not or when you click on the bell symbol when you subscribe to our channel. Uh, you also get notified when we put out shorts. And these are incredible little snippets from all of our various episodes that are just kind of honed down to one minute messages, which are really, really nice. Uh, the other thing I want to share with you, and Robert, thank you for posting this today. It's a perfect way to get started. Uh, as you know, Robert does po uh, post a lot of different memes along with his lovely wife, Terry, and then we just incorporate those into our Ask Me Anythings as we get underway. What a perfect one for today. And Robert said, to each and every one of you, I believe in you. <laughs> Just wanted to let that one sit. Yes, Bill Shoemaker. Now you're all plugged in. So <clears throat> fantastic. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Of course, we are here because of a gentleman who has put this entire group together. And we are just so... It, it, just he is a gps to success he is our success guide he is our mentor he is our coach and ladies and gentlemen it's proud i'm proud to introduce to you the amazing mr robert Hollis. <clears throat> Craig Jack, man, thank you very much. I love and appreciate you, the hostess and the mostess, and uh, uh, just an incredible human doing. Thank you very much, Craig. Love I you, love my you, friend. Thank you. <laughs> uh, how many people do you guys think get mad? I got something quick I want to share with you guys. How many people do you think get mad when I'm constantly changing, you know, things that they think, right? And I was talking to Craig about this a little bit. And he said, you got to share that right away. And I said, okay. And I said, um, you know, there's so many people that are watch this video live or recorded that you're trying to navigate your life. When a majority of us have different definitions of every word. Right. And so, and, you know, Craig usually says uh, success leaves clues. Right. Um, I'm going to, from this point on, say imagination leaves clues. <clears throat> and 
there's two groups of people in the world, all right? One group of people that are very bitter and upset and mad that other people have an imagination and are creating things. And then the other group that are imagining and creating things and wonder why everybody else won't do it. <laughs> and so <clears throat> I'm going to put with unlimited wisdom, I'm going to put together a series of things I wish I could have told my younger self and got a couple of things. And I was thinking of this, uh, my youngest son, Kyle, uh, he just arrived uh, after, I don't know, you know, almost 17, 18 hours of traveling. He's in Japan today. And uh, my son loves video games and loves streamers. And so he's watched these streamers create these enormous following and subscribers and watchers and donators. And these people have moved to Japan for one reason and one reason only. It's one of the countries that have the fastest internet in the world. <laughs> you know, if you if you can believe this statement, uh, United States is like number 13. Why is that? Well, that's what happens when you got to monitor what everybody says. Uh, totally different subject, right? So <clears throat> one of the things is, is I was thinking, what were the things that my mentor did to me? And I'm going to even change the word mentor. Um, the people I learned from that I seeked out are flat out masters. Now, that's my definition, right? But when someone has freedom, when someone has, they can do whatever they want, whenever they want with the people that they love and, and they, 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 they march at their own, you know, beat, right? There's a lot of definitions of what I would look at as a master, uh, their lifestyle, the amount of money that they give, how happy they are, how they get along with their family. You know what I mean? Uh, how much of the, uh, you know, a giver they are. There's a lot of things that I inspire to want to do and be. And it all was because of one huge. Now, this is not the biggest, but it's one of the biggest. And so it's funny. This is my first notebook that I took notes in other than being a mechanic. And so imagine... I meet this guy that's making 62 grand a month. He's five years older than me. And this is the first thing that he says to me. He says, I want every one of you to, to write a, a journal of <clears throat> you're either imaginating or you're basically watching somebody else's imagination. So if you're watching the news, someone imagined that. If you're watching the sports, someone imagined that. If you're watching things that take up our time, you're still a part of somebody's imagination, but you're not spending enough time in your imagination. So since we become what we imagine the most, my mentor wanted to prove to me that I spent pretty close to, other than sleep time, I spent pretty much 100% of myself involved in somebody else's imagination. <laughs> Whether it's getting up in the morning and taking a shower and getting something to eat, you know, riding on a motorcycle on a freeway, getting to work, working that job, doing what was required of me to get that job, get paid. It's like everything that I was doing all day, every day was involved in somebody else's imagination but mine. Now, parts of my imagination put me in somebody else's imagination. Like the thought of moving to California, 
the thought of being a, a good mechanic, a thought of working with Roger Penske. <clears throat> See what I mean? And most people's imagination is, you know, I'd like to work for a company and I'd like to, to make an above average income. How many of you guys have ever heard someone say, you know, I want to be the most average, ordinary person you ever met. I want to live paycheck to paycheck. Whenever someone asks me to borrow money, it's easy for me to say no, because I don't have any. I would like to give more to charity, but I don't have any money. Um, I would like my relationships to be get better. My relationship with the master imaginator to be better. I would love to get paid more. I'd love more freedom. I'd like more time to work on myself. Um, I'm just too busy. And see where this all comes from is we become who we hang around. The one thing that my master said to me is he said, Robert, you want to know what you're going to earn five years from now, 10 years from now? And I said, yeah. He says, just look at the five people that you spend the most time with. And so when I realized that I was watching almost seven hours of TV a day <laughs> and how much was good news versus bad news and how many advertisements that I was watching. You know, it really made me understand that the reason I was where I was is because of my focus on other people's imagination. This is not about good or bad. It's just there's other people out there that have imagination that wants us to pay to be involved in their imagination. Whether it's the cost of cable, whether it's watching a commercial. You guys catching me? Whether I'm watching a sporting event, whether I'm watching a concert, whether I'm paying money to go to a university. All these things I'm doing on a day-to-day -day basis is me being around other people <clears throat> that were just ordinary. You know, when I die, I don't want to leave too much debt to my children. Isn't that crazy? It's like, hey, get your ass out, you know? Get, get, get your ass out and make some money. So... <clears throat> When I met my master, he told me that he learned from his master. And they told me they learned from their master. Are you guys getting this? It was like there were generations of people from Rich Snackenberger to uh, Earl Schultz to um, Jim Rowan to Larry Huff and Larry Thompson to Bill, to myself. All these people above me have made an impact and made more money than me. Can you say that about your people that are imaginating above you? Are the people that you're learning from make every area of your life look like you're not doing anything? And so when I learned that, again, I want to explain what that is. I stopped watching the news and I wanted to master my mentor's audio tapes. Then when I found out that he got his knowledge, then I found out about Earl Nightingale. And these people that Bob Proctor worked for in Chicago. And so I thought, are you kidding me? There's a whole group of people that pretty much spend all of their time, other than sleeping, creating materials for me to win? Are you guys listening to me? Excuse me. When I found out 
that someone introduced me to a whole different group of people that were not only imaginators, but they were masters in teaching other people how to imaginate. That's when I went, this is the world less traveled. And this is the world I'm now a part of. Are you guys catching this? So when I heard people that are nothing but bitter and whining and complaining and victims and blame game and, uh, you know, uh, learned hopelessness. It's like, I didn't want to be around those people anymore. I wanted to hang around a group of people that were going, Sarah, I'm telling you right now, man, we live in the best times that have ever been on this planet. And they're constant, talk, constantly talking about their imagination and what they're going to do and how they're going to help people and how they're going to make a difference. Well, this other group of people are constantly complaining about those people. <laughs> Have any one of you ever heard this? Why are people so upset about people imaginating freedom and wealth? This really turns off a large group of people. Oh, did you hear that Taylor Swift just broke another record? I'm so sick and tired of hearing about this person. Did you hear about Beyonce decided to go over to country Western? I could give a rip about her. You know what I mean? What, what has she done? What has she done? Did you hear this baseball player just got a $700 million contract? Nobody is worth that amount of money. Nobody. So all the people that are winning and getting awards and living their imagination are really cold and beat up by the people that are connected to somebody else's imagination. So these people nowadays, because of YouTube, uh, we don't need to meet face to face with people. And so I'll give you just one more thing that I really truly know that's really stopping people from, from becoming the best imaginator they can be, right? is just the consistency of them hanging around a majority of the time with the wrong people. So the reason I brought that up is if you guys haven't heard, on Sundays now at the same time, we're doing this new thing called the Imaginator. And for the people that are already involved, you know, drop a one or some flames in the chat if you believe that people need to be a part of this. Because what happens in the imaginator is we teach people how to imaginate instead of hallucinate. And when your imagination kicks in gear, then you all of a sudden your life turns around. And the only negative things that I'm hearing about people that I'm teaching to imaginate and become imaginators is now that they remember how that felt, their 100% their fear, hallucination, is I keep going in it and falling out. Keep going in it and falling out. Keep going in it and falling out. I want to stay there. What I just said to you is the reason that you fall out. Is because you're imaginating and you're creating and you're imagining your future of what you're going to do to impact other people's lives and to make a difference, including income. And as you're doing that, you watch the news. Gone. Oh, my God. Then you have a fight with your spouse. Then you go get the mail and there's bills in the mail. Yes or yes. And then people don't understand that being an imaginator is, it's a one-on-one -on -one deal. So being an imaginator is very, very lonely. 
unless you hang around a bunch of the other imaginators. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Make sure that you post on it. Uh, make sure, uh, again, for those of you that will look at it, your first thought is, oh my God, this is $4.99. Yeah, if, if that's your first thought, or you look at one of the videos and you see it's three hours long, um, and you think that's too long and that's too much, and you already know everything, uh, this program is definitely not for you. <laughs> and, and for some of you that love putting yourself around a group of people that make you feel good, that love you, that support you, that's, that encourages you, that helps you. Uh, yeah, if you're those kind of people, uh, then this is definitely for you. So it's through YouTube. So even if you paid $4.99, which that goes to Unlimited Wisdom, our nonprofit organization, even if you did the $4.99 and didn't think it was worth it, guess what? It's hooked up through YouTube. You can ask for a refund and they'll give it right back to you. So you could use that money to go pay for half of your happy meal. <laughs> And by the way, that's $4.99 a month. So I'm really looking forward to taking my imaginators to a whole different level. Because as I connect, you know, as I get up and spend time connecting and getting hardwired, uh, hardwired uh, to the, uh, the number one imaginator, uh, I get nice downloads and then I share them with you. So uh, wait until you see what happens tomorrow and what Matthew is going to share with you tomorrow. It's like, it's fun for me to be an example, me and my son live time, watching you how to imaginate and how fast you can create and how much you it can impact people's lives. Uh, freedom's more important to me and impact's more important to me than money ever has been. Excuse me. So I could just tell you that if you put that first and you love yourself and you love others, encouraging them to be imaginator, uh, you'll never have to worry about money. And so all you got to do is treat other people the way you've always wanted to be treated. Instead of not moving forward in life because you're waiting for other people to treat you the way you should be treating others. Ah, so you all, we all hear these little clues, you know, the joys in the giver, not the receiver. If you give more, you get more. And then a majority of people go, yeah, that sounds like BS to me. I'm I I I I'd rather just sit around and complain about how much the world sucks. And don't you find it interesting that in the midst of all this ugliness and all this chaos and all this the world's going to end and our government's going to destroy us and and the world is ending. In the midst of this every week we get to celebrate people that imaginated that created the life they always wanted. And we watch it even on the news. Oh my God, I can't believe this. Caitlin Clark broke all these records. Uh, then more people now are showing up for her games and paying higher tickets than any woman's NBA game. She just went by records of two big males. You know what I mean? She just broke Stephen Curry's record for the amount of three pointers in a year, um, the world changed for people like Caitlin Clark and other people that dream like her because a bunch of people got in a room and said, you know what? It's not fair that the university is making billions of dollars off these athletes and these athletes can't cash in. So the laws finally got changed where people in college now are living their imagination and they're making millions in endorsements before they even go pro. What a concept. So in the midst of all this happening, 
why is there still people that imagine still living their best life ever? And everything. Did you see this young kid? Yeah, he's a piano uh, prodigy. It doesn't make a difference what color, what religion, what background. We constantly get to hear people imagining, just like I sent out today. I'll finish with this. <clears throat> I, I'm going to watch Willy Wonka tomorrow morning. Because if you look at my community group, uh, people ask all the time if they can figure out what's going on. I'm going to do my very best that you know what's going on if you go to our YouTube channel and click on community. You always will know that's going to be my main place to communicate with the world now. And so I got up this morning and I'm imagining after being connected to the, the uh, master uh, imaginator and being connected, I get this little tiny pretty big thought that uh, why not go on Google and type in what are the most famous songs that have the word imagination in them? And two songs came up right away. Pure Imagination by Willy Wonka. I watched a small trailer to it. And if you guys haven't seen it, watch it. Because isn't it about a little boy that wakes up because he's sleeping on the floor and his grandparents and his parents are all four of them are sleeping in a queen size bed. And he runs in and they're like, settle down, settle down. Have any one of you ever run into a child when their imagination is wide open? It's like, it's like, oh my God. Oh my, you, you got to check this out. And it's like, what? Willy Wonka's giving out gold tickets. He's putting them in the candy bars. And I'm going to win one. And they all look at him and go, listen, that, that, stuff, that stuff doesn't happen to people like us. What do you mean? Well, the wealthy people that have connections and network, they're going to make sure, you know, that they're going to make sure that their kids get the golden ticket. No, no, I'm getting a golden ticket. Uh, you don't even have money for the candy bar. We don't have the money. I don't know how it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. So if I were you, I if you're not good at imaginating, I, be, I would hook my wagon to somebody that's got one. <laughs> because you'll get caught up in it. Just like the Willy Wonka movie. You'll get caught up in, in someone else's imagination. And if all I did my entire life was help somebody else's imagination come true, I don't know of anything that could be more fulfilling and more rewarding than helping somebody else's imagination come true. What happened to me and what I believe can happen to you is you start imagining yourself. You start clicking onto that imagination where all things are possible. And you stop allowing you to be influenced by people that think that it can't. So there you go. Come join us tomorrow at the Imaginator. So, uh, okay, Craig. Wow. What a great message. Thank you so much for sharing it, Robert. And if you want to be an Imaginator and you are not yet an Imaginator, go to roberthollis.com forward slash join uh, and become part of it. Yes, it's the same as the inner circle, but that's okay. Join us. What? And it's not you, the same. It's not the same well, as inner circle. Uh, it's the same link as the inner circle. Oh, join. I'm sorry. Join. Chris. 
That's okay. No, but listen, you know what? Listen, listen, pay attention. I'm sorry, Craig. <laughs> That's okay. What I was going to say too, is if you already are in the inner circle, you're automatically part of the Imaginator group. So that will take place tomorrow at 12 noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. It's an exclusive group. So if you're not a member of either the Inner Circle or the Imaginators, go to roberthollis.com forward slash join and become part of it. You can either click the join button at the bottom of this video, underneath this video if you're watching on YouTube, or at the top of the live chat, you'll see a blue bar there that says Unlimited Wisdom, join the Inner Circle. Click on either one of those, become a part of this amazing, a amazing community. And a couple of shout outs before we get started. We've got Sarah Lipscomb, Bill Shoemaker, and Coach Bob Johnson with their hands raised. So you guys are coming up. But first, I got to give shout outs to Jody Falcon and Bill Shoemaker, aka the Healthinator, uh, for donating. Uh, there's a button in YouTube below the chat. It's a little dollar sign in a square where if you click on that and you donate, the money goes to charities that Robert supports. So thank you very, very much for everybody who does this, whether you're watching us live or recorded, it doesn't matter. It will go to those charities. We love you and we appreciate you and thank you. All right. Let's do this. Coach Bob Johnson, your hand went up first. Go ahead, please unmute yourself and share with us. Hey, oh, thank you, Craig. Robert and Matt, thanks so much. Oh, this is such a wonderful place. And I have to second that with uh, you should join that uh, Unlimited Wisdom. It's a fantastic bunch of group of people. Um, and right now I'm working with Lisa Marie on, on her dream and I just love it. She's such a great person. Um, I, I couldn't help out a better person than her. Um, so we're working on, I'm working on her website with her and, uh, she's phenomenal. So, uh, I can only be blessed and all of you, you know, I'm just saying jump aboard, don't miss out. Um, we help everyone out. Um, if you need help out and everyone does, um, mm -hmm. Right, Robert. So I still need help. <laughs> and I'll add, I'll save my question for tonight for Matt because I love the AI he goes through, and I'm sure he's gonna go through a lot of that. So maybe people will join what do you mean, if they want to. Tonight or see tomorrow? That. Uh tomorrow. Oh, got it. Got it. Tomorrow. I'm sorry. And by the way, Coach Bob, if you don't mind, I would like everybody that watches to give uh 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 um flowers. That's a new word that I learned. Give flowers and praise and recognition to uh, Coach Bob, number one on the leaderboard. Uh, oh. It's like uh, he, he usually always is number one, if not number one and number two. But there, there really truly isn't according to MDC corporate of someone that's in the company that's the most consistent person on the leaderboard. So, Coach Bob, I wanted to give you flowers for that because I – you're, you're one of those people that imagine and, and then you make it happen. So I'm proud of you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. 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 And, and, and a lot of praise to you guys too. I couldn't do it with the special group you have, Robert. It's just, I, I love everybody. You know what I mean? And ah. you know what I mean? You, you brought people together, you bring people together and you get them to dream and imaginate. Right. So yeah. uh, just phenomenal. So I have a couple things I'd like to discuss with you. So um, sure. if that's okay. So when I meditate, I, I go through a 10 minute meditation and uh, my mind wanders all the time. Yes. But I just, I just let it go. So, yeah. you know what? Some of my best ideas or imagination comes from the meditation. You know what I mean? And then I write yeah. it down right after that. Right. Is this yeah. the same with you? Yes. What it is. <clears throat> is now for people that have so many definitions on meditation, including sacrilegious, uh, why not just tell people from now on that you're just taking some dedicated time to connect, dedicated time to get hardwired, okay? And people are like, well, what the hell is that? <clears throat> now for me, it's just a part of my discipline. Please, you guys got to do your own imaginating the way you do. But for me, it's important to even take off my watch 
And what I do is I got a big picture window on my in my bedroom. And what I do is I kneel down in front of that window and just look at the sky. Most of the time, uh, in, in big sky state, there's usually a pretty good sun there. You know what I mean? And and uh, very honored and blessed uh, th of that. And so what I do is just for the first few minutes, all I'm doing is just breathing in as deep as I can, you know, holding it for a count of three, blowing out as much as I can. And I even learned where, you know, even when you blow out, it's like, and then hold it. And I just do that a couple of times until I just know I'm in the zone. I know I'm connected. It's like I, I, I feel at peace. I just feel at joy. And then the next part that I do is um, just being grateful and thankful for everything that I got. You know, I list my my you know my 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 um, wife and of course my children, my grandchildren my inner circle members, my now my imaginators, my affiliate customers, uh, the people that have helped me make that happen, which is a lot of people here that I that I um, connect with and be grateful for by name. And for some of you out there that are going like, why is he using other words and words that I need him to say? That's called disconnection. <laughs> so if there's something in your programming that makes you stop listening to people just because of the words they use, you might need to check up from the neck up. So that that that's this one. A lot of people don't want to admit that they have bad imagination. I, I'm willing to admit it so everybody goes, oh, it's just not me, right? So I know it sounds awful, but sometimes I'm driving a car and I'm driving the car and I'm just smiling, usually listening to, I can only imagine, ooh, nice song. And I'm listening to stuff like that. And then all of a sudden my mind, for whatever reason, this guy just comes out of nowhere. I call him Dino, right on the Flintstone. And he goes, you know how easy it would be just to pull into that ditch and run into that embankment? <laughs> See, some people go, Robert, man, do you have suicidal thoughts? Yeah, I'm probably one of the few people that will admit it. But here's the crazy thing. I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great mood. I'm not depressed. Nothing. In this, you're not you're you're not connecting right. You're not praying right. Uh while you're while you're connected, you have all these thoughts. All these thoughts. You you you're doing it wrong, Coach Bob. That's what you're doing. You're connecting and you're doing it wrong. All these bouncy thoughts that are going on in your head, you're doing it wrong, and it's not getting you anything. Well, I guess I'll quit that. I'll, I'll stop doing that meditation, manifestation, BS stuff, because I try to engage in it and it's not working. Yes, it is. Yes, it is because we all come back to it. As soon as I have that thought, I'm going, where the hell did that thought go? I rebuke it, you know, get out of here. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's like, I'm gonna reach my destination uh, and and be protected, be protected and and everything's gonna be fine. And and uh, so I, I get right back on it, right? And so the other part that I do is in 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 uh, connecting uh, Coach Bob is just to have quiet time, just to be quiet. Uh, for those of you that have different words and different many meanings to all these words, words I, I've always said that um, prayer was your gratefulness to whatever you believe. And meditation is listening. So if you're listening to a lot of things, but those ideas take you to the next idea, that takes you to the next idea, that takes you to the next idea, that spears enthusiasm and excitement in you, inspiration, 
And that leads you to searching things. And then you find the thing that you need. And then you apply that thing. And you're doing that all day, every day. Then everyone turns around and goes, oh, Coach Bob, I don't understand why you're number one on the leaderboard. You know, it's <laughs> like, and, and then, then it's like, well, what do you do? Hey, you know what? I actually did, was invited on a podcast and an interview with Robert. And you should check this out. Because I, if you can't imagine yourself being where I am, it's not going to happen. So you can't say the words, I would like to be like Coach Bob because he inspires me, but I'm not good at technology. See what I mean? Those words don't go together. <laughs> I would love to have Robert's lifestyle. I'm just not willing to work that hard. I don't I don't work. I don't work. I don't work. I connect. So when you can learn to hone in on the things that make the biggest difference, that's when all of a sudden this word happens, Bob. I knew it would come up with you. I did. But if you understood compounding like I do, Okay. Albert Einstein says compounding is the eighth wonder of the world. Listen to the statement behind it. Those that understand it live it. People that don't pay it. So you got this whole group of people that if they stopped working, they stopped getting paid. And then you got other people that looked at people and went, I don't understand why they sail all the time. They're always on their sailboat. Yeah, yeah, they 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 own a couple of companies. Why aren't they working at those companies? Oh, they hired CEOs and other people to run those companies. You need money to make money. Oh, I don't have any money. Okay, forget it. <laughs> so you'll get gooder and gooder. Just dedicate the time to doing it and you master it. And then one day you'll have a tipping point. Um, I can put myself in a connected state in seconds seconds and i just i just do a countdown so my mind's not thinking so i'm like three 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 two 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 one 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 ten nine eight seven six five four three two one thank you other people goes i can't do it you're right this is difficult. You're right. Just keep using words that defeat you. Keep keep getting involved in hallucination instead of imagination. It's your choice. So did that help with your question, Bob? Oh, it, you, it sure did. Uh, I got one more for you. Um, sure. Working on your three-year plan. I find it hard to do just like I, with like new year's resolutions, you know what I mean? It just, yeah. it's so they yeah. do meditation, they go over that and you know what I mean? And they yeah. say you're three years. The yeah. Sixth phase. I, I, uh, it's funny. The guy that came up with that was the guy that sort of put my thinking in the right place. Vision Lakani that he just asked, Hey, do any, any, any one of you been told that the reason that you're not successful is you don't have clearly defined written down goals. And depending on who you learn from with blue index cards with blue ink, you know what I mean? So I would venture to say, Bob, if this video live or recorded went out to people and they go, listen, I don't want you talking. Bob, reach down because it's in front of you. And I need you to show me your written down defined goals.
You do know that's important, right? I do. Where are they? I didn't do it. <laughs> and if you do it, you're supposed to do it daily. No, Bob, what I believe could have been that in the past, not anymore, it is just you're either an imagination of you creating the world you want to live in, creating heaven on earth, whatever your definition is of heaven, right? Is like, it's like that just needs to be engaged every day. Because most of the things that we've already enjoyed through imagination, we're just, Abraham Hicks calls it perfect. It's a, it's a desire rocket. It's imagination rockets. You're driving and your wife goes, wow, look at that house. You go, man, that's, that's a nice house. Yeah, that'd be cool to have that. It would. What? Who's paying taxes on that? <laughs> Do you know how long it would take to clean that house? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It would take forever to do the lawn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Forget about that dream. Forget about that imagination. <laughs> what would our friends think? Drug dealer. You know what I mean? It's like, right. oh my God. So yeah, it, it's, it's, uh, you know how to imagine, Bob. Believe in that and that alone. Okay. Most so I'm not having an issue with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause yeah. I can't do that. Oh, well, thank you I... for bringing it up. Thank you for bringing it up. Really? Yeah. Um, here's the other thing I, I promise you guys, what a promise. I guarantee you guys, if you imagine like me, you will have the lifestyle that I have, which is a lifestyle that's a hundred times bigger than I ever imagined. What a, hey, I get up in the morning. It's like, oh my God, same crap, different day. No, I get to lay some more bricks. I get to make concrete the best that I can make it. And I'm just going to lay the bricks that I can that day. And then people look at me and go, what is that? A hundred story building? I know, right? <laughs> How can you do that? How can you make millions of dollars a year? Uh, one imagination break at a time. <laughs> yeah, but what time of day should I put bricks up? You know, imagination rock. And I can't make the concrete. I wish my sponsor would make the concrete for me. And it's like, yeah. And here's one thing that uh, this imagination thing is deep, you guys. Holy cow, it is deep. Because there's two kinds of people that are prisoners of war. One person that's hallucinating that I might as well give up. I'm tired of being tortured. I know how to stop the torture. I just need to deteriorate and die. And then you got the other one that's going, do you know what I'm going to do when I get out of here? Oh, my God. If this thing's done anything for me, being a prisoner of war, if this has done anything for me, it makes me upset that I kept putting off things that I knew I wanted to do for me and my family. And when I get my butt out of here, that's what I'm going to do. So why is it that when they interview the wealthiest athletes in the world and they go, what are you going to do? I'm going to Disneyland. It's like, come on, man. Is there something other than you can do? You know, now winning a Winning a Super Bowl and getting the MVP award, this is something that gets to happen for me and my family. 
I got to win the Super Bowl by myself and with my team, doing my job the best. Got the fans. They're there because they are always imagining them being me. That's called an armchair quarterback. And if you put some of the best players together, that would be called a what, Bob? All-star team? A fantasy football a team. Fantasy, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, there's words around imagination. I, oh, if I imagine these are the players that I would like on my team. What do you mean, team? What position are you playing? Oh, no. I, in this scenario, I'd be like the owner. <laughs> wow. So you're really an owner of a team, and these are your players. Well, it's fantasy football. Who would be so stupid that they would sit around and imagine with a bunch of other guys that are imaginating, maybe <laughs> some girls, uh, drinking beer, having fun, all imaginating about an imaginary score that their imaginary team did. <laughs> That's Robert. It's freaking fun. Boy, do I get it. Boy, do I get it. Yeah. Am I in fantasy football? No. I just watch MMA fighters in a few minutes. And I watch these people. Don't you guys find it interesting when you watch athlete shows? This is what other people that don't understand athletes. Bob, we get to watch the best of the best imaginators. And then they tell us their story that got them to hear. They walk in their room. Sometimes their parents got the room exactly the way it is. And they got these trophies on the walls and these ribbons on the walls and pictures of their favorite athlete. Yeah, it doesn't happen by accident. It happens through imagination. So that help, Bob? Oh, Always, Robert. Thank you so much. I thought I was off base, not do, but you're not right, no, you're right not. on there. I'm on track. You're totally on track. I'd rather work with someone that imaginates on a daily basis than someone that's imaginating three years from now. Right. Right. All right. What, what, what are we creating today, Bob? Yeah. Yeah. Who are we going to impact today? Definitely. Definitely. Love Proud and appreciate you. you. Yeah. Appreciate thank you. you. Thank you. Thanks. You are awesome, Bob. I love you. You are, you are even more awesome. <laughs> Coach Bob, Take thank care. you. You bet. Craig, Matt, um, thanks. I'm going to ask a question of you, and I we've got J.J. Clark, Sarah Lipscomb, and Bill Shoemaker coming up, Robert, but uh, based on what just Coach Bob said. So um, is it my misinterpretation that the, you know, in looking at the six-phase meditation, because he does say in the six phase meditation that it's he gives you a three year time frame, but he says it could happen sooner and you're still using your thoughts Always. and imagining. So it's not to take away from the six phase meditation, correct? Right. It's to re maybe in Bob's case and Bob, you know, I hope you understand where I'm going with this is that you reinterpret the six phase meditation because it's actually, I mean, I love it and it's right. been a Craig, foundation Craig, you for couldn't me. Be, Craig, you couldn't be right on the, right on the mark. Um, and doing your best to the only reason that he even says this, Bob and Craig, he, Craig knows this is that we, we grossly over imaginate and how fast we can do things. If you take a one month goal, six month year goal, we always grossly over exaggerate what we believe we can accomplish. And what this does is cause a opposite cycle than what we want. So that's why you hear people that go, I think it's 80, 80% 80 of the people no longer set New Year's resolution. Right. Because it's BS. It's not the resolution itself. It's the unrealistic expectations that we had. So what we do is we go, this year, I'm going to lose more weight. 
So I'm going to go in gym and I'm going to change the way I'm eating and, and I'm going to do it. And that lasts for two weeks and we're done. So his thought was, if we could use our imagination of creating the perfect day that we were going to experience three years from now, that that usually, and for me, ever since I've been doing this, that happens for me way faster than three years. It's like I got involved in MDC. The goal was to push my wife to super affiliate. That was a thought that I just threw out there. It wasn't even a time on it. And so got to create a million in volume a month, 10,000 people doing a hundred personal volume. That's it. And through the side of doing that, I know for a fact, I'm going to find the other people that want to make a hundred thousand dollars a year. So they only need a thousand people. So now if I found 10 people that wanted a thousand people in their group, and now I just got to have those that have ears to hear. Well, I can't find 10 people that want a thousand people in their group making 10 grand a month. Can't find those people. Well, what if I could find a hundred people? No, a 10,000 people that wanted to do a hundred in person alone. <laughs> it's like, so my mind would just go back and forth. And then I just understood that those that have ears to hear. So the numbers will work if I have people imagine what their lives would be like at $10,000 a month. Not showing up for work. Wow. I got to make that happen. So now we're teaching people to do that also with YouTube. Cool. Yeah, it's like, there it is. It's like, get people to know, like, and trust you. Help them, uh, help them learn to imaginate and turn their imagination into reality. Show them how to stay in imagination. And then usually when they figure out what they want in life, like my son, all of a sudden he wants to go to Japan. And all of a sudden now money's important. <laughs> See? So for some of us older people, you know, um, I remember like it was yesterday. You know, sure, I'm a complainer. Why does why does Guy get a new bike? Why does JJ get a new bike? Um, well, their parents bought you bought it for them. Well, well, money doesn't grow on trees. Um, can you tell me where it grows? <laughs> <laughs> and I remember my mentor telling me, my master telling me this. He goes, Robert, he goes, Do you know where money comes from? He would always do these one-liners to shift my paradigm. And he said, money, money comes from banks. Money comes from uh, the government. Money comes from uh, your, your owner of your company paying you for doing a hard day's work or whatever. He goes, no, Robert, money comes from people. And he would always say something to make me laugh. Now I know it was intentional. He goes, no, Robert, money comes from people. You ever see a dog with a wallet? I was going, no. And he says, you know how people will give you money? And I said, what? If you can just share with them the imagination of what this be, would be in value of their life. So if you find a problem and show them glory and explain to them the value they'll give you their cash or put it on credit card. And I went, now more than any time in my life, Craig, uh, this phrase, uh, stories tell, facts sell. Yeah. You've shared that many times. I didn't realize talking to some old friends recently because I'm telling them about unlimited wisdom, what I'm doing with it. And I just told them we're going to have Millions of people in our community that allow us to fund millions of things. And so uh, I think Mr. Beast has a pretty good outline of how creative could you be in creating videos that you want 
when you know that millions of people watch it that creates millions of subscribers that creates millions of dollars oh my god so now i'm just going to go out what am i going to do with all this money well why not do a video where you give it away and then by doing that i would get more viewers or more money by doing creative videos and giving money away which would bring me more money yeah imagine telling that to 99% of the people on planet. Videotape yourself giving a view to others, whether it's money or your time. No, I, I need someone to give to me. Yeah, you're that other side. You're the hallucinators. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. I, I'm glad that you shared that. Yeah, I appreciate that, Craig. Yeah, I because I took it at the three-year you know, I, I didn't take it at just in the future, you know what I mean, where you want to be. And I, I guess I, I took it differently. Thank you. Yeah, he, he points no, out. I, Bob, Bob, I'm sorry, Craig. Go ahead. You thought it exactly the way everyone we introduced <laughs> it to. So I'm not going to, sorry, Coach Bob, you're not special here. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, think, I think everyone that you say, hey, I want you to visualize. I want to want you to manifest. I want you to to uh, see yourself three years from now. Come on, 99.999% of the people are like, well, I guess I'm gonna be ordinary the rest of my life because I sure in the hell can't do that. You know what I mean? What people need to understand, Bob, and thank you for bringing it up because it's super important, is imagination is very simply going through YouTube and scrolling or Facebook or scrolling on any social media. And then you see a couple dancing and they look like they're one person and you're, and they're smiling and everyone's like, you watch these two people dance and it like raises your energy and you go, that would be cool to do that with the person I love. And then what does your mind do just for a few seconds? Oh, I know how to do that. See, when you have imagination, you know, the 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 how totally disappeared because you go, well, I guess I could go on Google, look for dance studios in my area. Then I could go check it out, see if I like the instructors. Now I do. Now, how am I going to get my spouse to do this or the person I love to do it? I know, I know. I'm not going to tell them. I need to prove and lead by example. So I'm going to go there. And then all of a sudden it's going to go, Bob, what are you doing every Wednesday night? I'm sort of getting suspicious there. I, it's a surprise. I don't want to tell you. No, you're telling me. <laughs> no, I'm not telling you. You can go with me if you're suspicious about something. Isn't that cool? Right. That's awesome. And then they look at you and go, why would you want to learn to dance? Because I want to dance with you. Oh. <laughs> and then every one of us has had that feeling. Is there any one of you that have ever watched somebody or a couple dance yeah. and just go, yeah, I do that also with languages. I see someone's you know, we're in an Italian restaurant and then all of a sudden waiter comes up and the person's like, blah, 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 blah. And you're like sitting there going, God dang it, man. I would love to know another language. Yeah. But I don't know how. Uh, yeah, you do. See, so you had that brief desire of wouldn't that be cool and you're like yeah i can't that's stupid i don't have time i'm not that smart it would take me forever it would take me forever you know what i mean and it's like uh and he's like smiles i did it again and then you know <laughs> thank you bob yeah thank you love and appreciate you have a great Man, day. I, I love the videos that Craig cuts with 
with people that ask questions, you know what I mean? Because it's like, you guys just keep pulling it out of me. So the question that Bob asked is so important is when your mind says that you can't do something, just very simply say, I just need to have the imagine where I could. See, I was always taught by my masters, just reduce to the ridiculous so that your mind says, instead of this guy showing up, this heart says, I can do that. I can do that. Um, so Coach Bob, do you think it's possible for you to stay connected for a second? Oh, you bet. Uh, five? Oh, yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> it's like, what if you're consistent of being connected, hardwired for five seconds a day for a year? You wouldn't even recognize your freaking self. Right. You would think that you're another person on another planet. So then the five seconds goes to 10, the 10 goes to 30, 30 seconds to a minute. If we all did that in every area of our life, holy cow. Yeah. But what we do is we hear what someone tells us the ultimate goal is. See, I, I believe it or not, our friend helped me with this. He goes, Robert, when you tell people, <laughs> he says, Robert, when you tell people that you're a super affiliate and you made 4.8 million, in six years. He goes, how many people do you think listening to you going, if he can do it, I can do it. <laughs> I'm going, I hope everybody. He goes, it's nobody. I'm like, no, there's somebody. See what I mean? And he's going, I've never had anyone say that. And he goes, that's what makes you different. You really, truly believe there's other people out there that want to generate the money and lifestyle that you have. I know there is. No doubt in my mind. Okay, now I understand you. And I go, yeah, I, I, I don't know why other people don't think about that, but hey, I don't care. Now, what's that Martin Luther thing? You know, you don't have to go to the top of the stairs. You got to just take the next step. Isn't that what Martin Luther said? You know, so we look at the stairs. Oh, my God, it'd take me forever to climb up this mountain. Close enough. Yes. Yeah. Can you can you can you can you take one step? Yeah, I can do that. Try another. <laughs> I can do that. And then the next thing, how'd you get up here? Well, step I didn't do time. it in record time. I didn't do it in record time. But you weren't supposed to. <laughs> You wasn't supposed to. I had to take some rest. That's okay. See, we just start beating ourselves up. You know what's going to happen if I climb the mountain? I'm going to have to come back down. You're a sharp one. You're a sharp one. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> okay, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you bet. Coach Bob, thank you so very, very much. And by the way, just to let everybody know that quote is take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of unlimited wisdom with all the same people. It, it, you, and you know why it's so difficult for us is because every time someone says how they got what they got, it's so simplistic that our complex minds say it can't be that simple. And it is, it is that simple. Craig. Thank you so much, Robert. All right, Bob, thank you for inspiring us with that uh, amazing section there. Uh, JJ Clark is coming up. So is Sarah Lipscomb, but first Mr. Bill Shoemaker or AKA the healthinator. Ask Bill, go ahead. anything. Go ahead, open up and please share. Well, the amazing facilitator of AMA, Unlimited Wisdom, and the inner circle of imaginators, Mr. Craig Jackman. Love you, brother. You're amazing. Bless you, my friend. Love you. Thank How you. How are you doing, Bill? 
Great. And you're not too bad yourself, Robert. Man, you're amazing. Huh? Man. Thank you, I'm Bob, sure. for, for all that uh, pulling that out of uh, Robert. That was incredible. Uh, yeah, we all, you know, from what I understand is the more you can see it in your mind, the faster it will happen. So if you the can, more you feel you it. Can you can see it in what is it if you can see it in your hand you can have it in your mind or something i don't know bob proctor yeah, if you can see it in your hand you can see it in your world yeah you're right i've i've screwed that up too if you can see it in your <laughs> mind you can have it in your hand there you go there you go so anyway um you know that really you really touched on uh what has really held me up is is uh being in other people's imagination that just hit home. It's like, yeah, I do way too much of YouTube or this, this group, that group, uh, you know, it's like, I need to get my, my own, which, uh, which I'm doing. So I want to thank you also last time you were talking about unli unlimited wisdom and you said, I took my name out of it. Yeah. Cause it's not about me. So Soon I thought about, Soon you, soon you won't be able to see these things. Right. So I thought about that and it, it, it hit home with me. And then I had a download. Uh, I like Healthinator. But then that would just be about me. So I went out and I couldn't get a dot com on that because it was already taken. But Healthinators was not taken. So I'm no longer the Healthinator. It's healthinators. So I want all the people I know and the imaginators to be healthinators as well. And then, so while you were making yourself happy, would that be healthination? Hey, <laughs> the sky is the limit. Healthination. Healthination. Right. What's health the nation? That's imagining you being healthy. Damn, I might have to buy another domain. Shit. Yeah. Keep having to buy more domains. <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> hey, you know who makes billions of dollars off imaginators? Domain, domain buyers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jay shaking his head. All of you are going, man, at one time you can ask my son. No exaggeration. If that would make me successful, I would have been a billionaire already. I bought so many domain names. I figured out how to become my own host. I was selling domain names. Right. And getting paid for people buying domain names. So I, I became the middleman. So it would be a discount of me <laughs> buying domain names for myself. <laughs> It's not a bad idea because eventually, you know, some of them are well, going to be worth. I went from like probably seven hundred domains to maybe five. So seven hundred. Well, I thought I was pretty heavy on. I had about thirty at one time. I, <laughs> you did, buddy. So see wow. that. So we now know we can imagine. Right now, what happens is just the engagement of that whistle. That I mean, that whisper. That whisper, because. A lot of times, people don't want to hear this, but a lot of times our mind, you know, I, I love when people say, you know, I really prayed about this and this is what I was called to do. And I don't have a clue why it sucks so bad. <laughs> um, wow. Maybe, maybe you were listening to the wrong voice. Had hey. your motor plugged in to the wrong place, you know, hey, it's all about it. Yeah, it's all I about it. So when it's not about you, great, great uh, man, Craig, bringing back an old one. Amazing, significant, emotional event, Bill. And See it's a pop. it. Yeah, it's a pop. We used to call it a pop, you know, point of presence. You know what I mean? So they use, and they use that for the internet as well. So, so. Craig and Melody and and uh, my son, you guys have seen me focus on this. It's just coming clear, you know. But I used to say, you know, if um, if you want 
the highest speed internet that you can get, the best connection that you can get. When you call the company that provides your internet to you, they want to know what your pop is. That's your clo closest point to plug into the hardwire. <laughs> and then you've got to pay money to have a bigger cable. So now instead of this size of a cable, you got this size of a cable to get you more hardwired. And so what they do is they figure out how much it costs to run fiber optics from that point of presence to your home to get hardwired. And I'm, I got the biggest, baddest, fastest ever. <laughs> and I, I'm constantly calling providers to ask them if they, what's the next thing? So I have a, live in a Yellowstone County. I don't even live in the city limits, but I got a big orange cable the size of my thumb that goes from the point of presence. So we went a pop. When you get a pop, that's a point of passion or a point of imagination. I have to change the letters. No. <laughs> but great, great, Bill. Those, those yep. you should be, uh, hope you're proud of yourself. Thank you. And I can imaginate. And I can make, I can do, if you can do it, I can do it. Yep. I, I could even do it better. Yeah. I, I was telling my friend today because I talked him into doing a YouTube channel now. Right. And he goes, I can't believe I'm getting excited about this. And I go, oh, why? Right. And he goes, every day I can log in and see my analytics. I can see my movement. I can see what I'm doing. So he went from zero views on his YouTube channel to 800 views, you know, over a 30 day period. And, and he's like, uh, I go, you know, one thing, you don't call me up every day asking me to get motivated because you're doing it yourself. <laughs> He's like, well, you got 1,500 videos online. And I'm going, yeah, I can do it. You can do it. That's like pretty cool. Well, once you get excited, you don't need motivation. No. What yeah. Zig, Ziglar, Zig Ziglar used to always say that motivation is like a shower. You should Every take day. One off. <laughs> all day, all day long. <laughs> yeah. So being inspired is different. Thank what you. you think about you bring about. Thank you, brother. I love you. Love you, Bill. Thank you so very, very much. Right. Okay. Let me working on this. There we go. Sarah Lipscomb, welcome. Thank you so much. There's your unmute. Please open up and share with us. Oh, hello, everyone. I am so glad to be here today. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Robert. How are you? I am blessed and highly favored and deeply loved. I know. So am I. Amen. Um, uh, my question, uh, I guess, is not directly to you. My question is to um, Lisa Marie and... Um, Lisa Marie and Jody, I saw their uh, out their um, piece they did on on YouTube the other night, and it was just fabulous. I mean, I had to go get popcorn to sit and watch it. It was so, and I was like, "Wow, I'm so jealous. I need to be on with these ladies." Mm -hmm. Jody, you were. Did you see my comments? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, you thank were, you just fabulous and um oh, wow. so, so courageous and so the clarity and everything and um it was just wonderful i i loved it and i oh thank you yeah, i have been yeah. told uh several times throughout my life uh by a psychiatrist and other people that i should definitely write a book that has never spoken to me because i'm not connected when I'm telling my life stories, but the interaction and the energy that, that Lisa and I exchanged it. Now there's what's meaningful to me yes. in telling my story. Boy, Boy, if you guys just heard that. So why are podcasts 
so big? And how did Oprah become a billionaire? By interviewing people and asking them questions. Yes. Mm -hmm. was, oh, thank you. Because what we love to see, thank you, Sarah, we love watching two people connecting. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we, and then it pulls things out of us because we're not alone. So the rest of them are going, oh my God, I only thought that awful stuff happened to me. <laughs> it's like, it's choking me up right now. That, that, whatever you guys did, I need to link to it. You know, uh, because because uh, I I could not be prouder, Sarah. Thank you so much. So your question is, how can you connect with these two beautiful women? Yes, I saw that. It's on YouTube, I know, but it's VLD, something like that. I was like, wow, I need to get on. Um, I'm preparing things, but it's your you're doing recordings. Be but you were live. You I I used to. I that's what I was doing until Robert switched and and i followed suit i mean it, he's rich for a reason right <laughs> yeah and that's even better doing live because you can i no no no, no. I, we didn't do it live i mean i'm saying it's even better i meant when you can record it and then because you yes. have time to really get things together right so i um i am so so grateful and thankful for this platform mm -hmm. It's so Thank helpful you. in so many ways, Robert, you just don't realize. But anyway, I wanted to start um, my YouTube uh, uh, journey. I, I saw one of your uh, shorts that you did, Robert, about imagination. I saw it, I listened to it, and I got ready to try to put it on my Facebook because I wanted to put it with the, the song by The Temptations called It's Just My Imagination. It's... Wow, um, my Thank girl you. was probably one of their biggest hits, but just my imagination my comes imagination. right with that. And um, away with me, yes, yes, mm -hmm. it was it down, just my Sarah. imagination yeah. running away <laughs> with me. Yes, you go, Sarah. So, look at all my chicken skin, all my chicken skin. <laughs> So I'm going to figure out how to get my live with one of your shorts, Robert, because I want a, that song to background. That is Perfect. just, yeah. Oh, wonderful. So yes. what other questions? Yes. Go so, ahead, I'm sorry. Uh, so Lisa Marie and Jody, is there any way that Sarah can reach out to you and, and uh, become part Absolutely. of it? You can help her and show her? Absolutely. Heck oh, yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> I have to tell you, Lisa Marie is just so inspiring and I mean, yeah, connect with us and it- Do you want it, me to interview you, Sarah? I can interview you. <laughs> yes, that would be wonderful. Yes, absolutely. Wow. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I reached out to Lisa Marie before I went to the conference because I told her I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that I hooked up with her. But I did hook up with Jody. I saw her and I was like, wow, I've just been wanting I to know. see two ladies in person. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> see, see, like like attracts light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah. you, Sarah, for sharing you look, that with us. You look at all three of these women and see how gorgeous and beautiful they are. It's like there's so many beautiful, gorgeous women out there that need a place to to uh, make their words be heard. Yes. Yes. Because when we can learn to speak to others, then people show up to watch. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. You That's know, it's funny, Sarah, I don't mean to take your, your spotlight, but just one second. Um, I have to share, you know, I was in uh, vidIQ. vidIQ. I never had that on my YouTube profile before. You know what I mean? But I did now and I went through that whole process with them and, and and I figured out what my little niche is supposed to be. You know, and it and it was interviewing by going through all those questions and whatnot and and it told me that I should absolutely be an interviewer. So you just solidified it. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> and one other quick question, uh, Robert, and it's to everyone else. I was thinking of my uh, name, domain, or whatever we want to call it, to be Sarah Sore, because you're talking Ooh. about um, my background is in acting, dancing. Speaking of which, I danced last night, and you were, you were just talking about dancing today. Wow. It's, just, it's dancing and music that's just, it just mm -hmm. gives me life. But anyway, um, and book club and all that stuff. So I was thinking maybe Sarah Sore would be a good uh, good name for myself. What I do you think? That. You do? I do I too. Do. I could tell you're a dancer, even though I see you from here up. <laughs> yes, I mean, from Jody. me as a dancer. Oh, Jody, Jody's a dancer, man. <laughs> I know. I heard him talking about the, her ballet. But you know what? Sometimes when... Things are going on like that as a child in the home. Those things you look to, that's your getaway. You know, that it was is. my home. Yeah. I was at the ballet studio more hours in any given 24 hours than I was in my own house. Yeah. It was truly the only place that I was safe. Yeah. yeah. And I could predict what was going to be happening. I mean, the situation with my mom and her rages, forget the beatings, forget the gun at my head. It was me never being able to predict when is the next explosion going to come. Mm -hmm. yeah. And for yeah. Lisa Marie, that was softball. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Hey, do you guys ever, you guys ever, ever wonder how I remember all this stuff about you guys? Yeah, how? I give a shit. <laughs> he does. He does. He's always, you know, he, that fact about me, he knew pretty early on, and we never discussed it again. I mean, that was clear back in, um, I don't remember the name of that group, Lori Munson, but any, anyway, yeah. it, yeah, and, and he remembered that fact all these years, I yeah, Amazing. because it's important for me, each and every one of you, it's funny because this has asked me anything, so we can talk about anything. Um, <laughs> there's no way faster to connect with another human being than asking them where they got the most joy in their lives. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we all got some pretty awful things that have happened to our lives. Right? It's, it's unfortunately a part of life. And they're now saying that for those children that had <clears throat> virtually a perfect upbringing, that they seem to struggle mm -hmm. because they haven't dealt with struggle. So in struggling, in pain, in trauma, we get to imagine ourselves being someplace other than there. Mm-hmm. But wow. the people that struggle, the people that had to struggle are usually better at imagination because they had to imagine themselves in some of the most awful places in the world. And one of the beautiful things about the way Jody told her story is that it wasn't with, I want you to feel sorry for me, or it was just mm -hmm. awful. She just, I mean, it was just graceful the way that she presented oh, it. Oh, wow. It really was. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give me tears. <laughs> That's beautiful, Sarah. That's beautiful, Sarah. Yeah, when we hear people talk about <clears throat> the awful things that happen in their life and they sort of giggle and they laugh or they make light of it, and we just go, how's that possible? Uh, That's just imagination is what that is. Yeah. That's, you know, it's like, you know, what, what sometimes almost kills another human being or puts them in struggle of depression and trauma their entire lives. While other people are like, I can imagine my life not having this. Mm -hmm. I can imagine in my life that, you know, and what's it turn us into? For some people that are great survivors, what we do is we learn to break the chain. Mm. Yes. 
So all yes, we do yes. is we start treating other people the way we wish that people treated us. And then everybody thinks that we're magical. Mm. <laughs> because, you know, you know, people are told don't speak unless you're spoken to or, you know, everything was more important than us as a child. And we didn't get any, you know, I love you, you know, like in, in our Imaginator course, I showed this video of this girl that just hated her father, you know, because he would never give her any praise and recognition for stuff, never, ever said, I love you. And then all of a sudden she sees it from her daughter's viewpoint. Oh, yeah. The way her daughter looked at grandpa. And it's like, boy, I messed up. You know, because some people just don't have the, they don't have the imagination or wisdom to understand how to do better. They just don't. So they they repeat the cycle and some people change this cycle. So like Lisa Marie surrounds herself, unfortunately, by a lot of people that 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 are not her fans or supporters and and don't think she can do it. So Lisa Marie is a master at doing that for others. And she takes it out of she takes it out of herself. She just goes, listen, this is the way I'd like to be supported. This is the way I'd like to be talked to. I this is the way I'd like to feel like I was significant. And Lisa Marie now is learning how to do that for other people. So there's absolutely nothing that can stop her. <laughs> Good. Thank, thank you, Sarah. Sarah. Any other questions? <laughs> no, I just want to say thank you to Craig Jackman. He's just wonderful. I was in a pickle with technology for a while and with my work schedule, and he so graciously worked me through it with all the confidence. And thank you, Craig. I really appreciate it. Bless you, Sarah. Thank you very much. It's it's pleasure. <laughs> it's fun to see people grow build and grow and uh it's a blessing that you know if i can help as much as i can i will yes yeah i, I sometimes people like me get a lot of due diligence and and uh, not a due diligence a lot of flowers and praise and recognition when people don't understand that i'm just a sum of the people i surround myself with yes so you know, everyone looks at Craig and they look at Matt and then you guys don't understand that I was smart enough to pull these people in my circle. <laughs> well, that's another thing I learned from you, Robert, that has been helpful. Sometimes you got to hire people to do what you can't do and stop struggling yes. so that it will free you up. Because I was going crazy because I had like 40,000 emails. It was crazy. Yeah. And I couldn't navigate as fast as you delete something comes up because of the subscription thing. So, yeah. yeah. So you're yeah, right. And, you have to do that. And and now that it's, it, don't you guys find this interesting? You won't reach out to people to tell them that they need to buy or try your product. You won't reach out to people with a business opportunity. But you will share people's videos like Lisa and Jody's all day long. then that should tell our mind that if Sarah started doing interviews and, and putting things on her YouTube channel that they she knows that would be a blessing to others, then would you have any problem reaching out to everybody? Oh, by the way, Sarah, I got this incredible gift. Uh, you know, uh, I had one of the people that I inspired. Her, her name is Wanda Kay. And when I gave her this book, I told her that I was dyslexic and there wasn't an audio of it. So she took the time to record the whole audio for me on video. And I would like to send that to you. Uh, my gift to you. This book had really made a difference to me. And so then I send it to you. And the first thoughts are you. I don't like this guy because he's trying to sell me on something. No, that, that thought doesn't come up. It's like, that was nice. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> and then invite them to an ask me anything or invite them to an imaginator thing. And then out of nowhere, the person really knows, likes, and trusts you. And it never, ever fails. If they're the ones that have ears to hear, they'll go, um, I know all this stuff and helping people is awesome, but Sarah, I do need to make money. Do you have any ideas on how I could make some extra money? Uh, I, I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> that is so easy than the other way around. Yes. Yeah, because now I'm helping people all day, every day. And I get these incredible messages from people that just, ah, just melt my heart. And uh, if I do nothing but help them in their journey, like I'm helping you, Sarah, then the only thing that I want back is for you to, to show people that through imagination that you can help others and create some pretty cool stuff in your life. And then just share that imagination with other people. Yes, absolutely. I love you. Thank you. I love you so much. And thank you, Lisa Marie and, and Jody. I look forward to our collaboration together. Yes. Connecting. <laughs> yes, connecting. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Cool. Cool. Sarah, thank you so much. And all a lot of those links I've already posted in both chats. So uh, Thanks, in Greg. the YouTube chat, here in the Zoom chat, you can download the Zoom links or the Zoom chat uh, by going to the three dots in the chat and then click on Safe Chat. It'll download at the very end. So yeah, lots of great stuff. I'll remind everybody as we close our AMA today. Um, bless you, Sarah. Thank you so very, very much. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. Let's continue moving on. Mr. J.J. Clark, thank you so much for your patience. Please open up and share with us. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Hi, Jay. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing fine. Hey, this was this is this is just on spot. This is what we're all here for. Amen. It warms my heart to know that. I invited Jody to the <laughs> to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and, uh, and and what what I just watched warms my heart. Oh, doesn't it? Connection <laughs> of these three beautiful women and and how it has you know transformed them is God is terrific. It's a great well, thank deal. You, thank you so much for allowing that to happen and trusting your heart. <laughs> you know, sometimes sometimes we're all pretty chicken to reach out to people because we don't yeah. know what to give, give them. If you guys want to understand, it's like I can find out those that have ears to hear very, very quickly by just asking them, hey, um, I have a really good friend of mine. His name is J.J. Clark. And when this guy shares, it just... It just touches me and inspires me and makes me feel happy. And me and him are connected in a group called the Imaginator, you know, where people actually pay $4.99 a month and that money goes to charity to help animals and kids. I I'd love you to be my guest. Wait until you hear from it, man. Jay's Jay's a trip. It's like we do, we we spent too much time talking about. Stuff that doesn't matter. Hallucinating on things that doesn't matter. You know what I mean? I've never, ever, ever promoted a product or a company. I'm always promoting a person. I'm always promoting and edifying and giving flowers to a person. Interesting. Yeah, huh? Jody and I do that often with each other. <laughs> <laughs> so did you just want to come on here to give them some flowers or? Uh, uh, did no, you actually, a... I, I need some help. Okay. I got a big, I got a big, a big red flag here, Robert. Hope, hope you can give me some, I know that you'll give me some good guidance. Yes. Um, uh, almost three weeks ago, I had a gentleman from the MDC chat. Uh, on Telegram, contact me 
asking for some help about information about MDC. Okay. And so we started dialoguing a couple of days later. I gave him a bunch of links for him to go to to look at because I assumed that he'd already been connected with somebody else in the company. False prophets. Make mistake. Make, make, make an I ass out of me. About they're not false prophets. They're false non-profits. <laughs> yeah. They don't make well, any money. Anyway, go ahead. Here, here, here's a very interesting thing. This <laughs> This gentleman is leading me on to say, well, you know, it's a great company and I'm going to get my team to, to come on. And, you know, this is going on for, a, a, you know, a week or so. Right. And um, by God, it happened. Thirteen affiliates pop. He did not go back and look at the program. What he wants me to do is to jump in on his crypto program. So now I've got the master <laughs> and his, thir his 13 people that he all signed up under me. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> okay. Now, so, so, what, so what do you need help with? Well, how do I, how do I let nicely let the rest of the folks know there in his team, if he claims that, that they have this golden rule program that they work with each other to help each other make do better in life, et cetera. Right. Well, his golden rule and his way of trying to hook up other people from the outside <laughs> stinks. Right. Right. <laughs> so, it's like in, in sales, in sales, JJ, you probably know this. Uh, they call that um, uh, a false leader. You know what I mean? So if you go to a, uh, it used to be uh, a record company, right? And so what they would do is they would say that they're going to give you the Max L tapes that you can record on. And they were like, they were virtually giving them away, but you had to walk through the whole store to find them. <laughs> yes. Yes. Lost well, yeah. That's, that's the way a lot of the ads are on Facebook right now, too. They lead yeah. you, you know, they start on this stuff, but you got to listen for 20 minutes. Yeah, I, I so, know. I know. So, so, so what, what, you, what I'm looking for is how do I go and politely let these other 13 affiliates that I have floating out there right now that to know that they do have somebody that kind of maybe misled them into what this program that they signed up for? And hopefully um, convert them. Yeah, I'll tell you how to do it. Again, it's those that have ears to hear, right? So yes. first, even though I know you didn't ask this question, um, <clears throat> you would just very simply could say to a person that says, well, I got this golden rule, right? And I've had people, unfortunately, or fortunately, I've gotten caught up in the same kind of things. And then I found out that virtually everybody that they put in that group were emails of people that they didn't even ask permission to put them into the program. Okay. So, so they're just going in and just, you know, adding people to give you the, um, the illusion, uh, another word, good word that they're actually doing something. So now they want to get reciprocity from you. And you can say, very simple to that person is just say, you know, we all make decisions based on what we know. And based on what I see, I wouldn't feel the golden rule applies. Because signing someone up in a free program when no one's duplicating or earning a check because no one's bought product, then what you're really asking me to do is something that I would never do. And that's put people in the product company expecting them to do nothing and no one's doing nothing to, to try to convince another person to give me money. So if that's what you call golden rule, I'm not part of that golden rule. <laughs> so this doesn't apply to me. Now, the people that he put in the system, <clears throat> you can go see their email addresses right. or send them a message in MDC. And I'm not telling you not to do that. When it happened to me, I did. So my whole thing is I turned into 
my imagination is I was going to make fun of this person by connecting with one of the 13 people in that group and actually getting them income by, by pointing, guiding, directing to the real thing. Unfortunately for me, and I'm not going to say this will happen to for you, none of the people ever got back to me. Yeah. And I even had a couple of the people that left a phone number and none of the, you know, didn't get a return. No one answered, no one returned in the way that I communicated them in the back office and none of them returned an email. So, so it's like, well, so it's a wash. Well, here's the funny thing, Jay, you, you have kids, JJ. Uh, two sons that are in their fifties. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So as we have children and I like, I think a lot of people, if you don't, it could be nephews or, or whatever. We always want to try to protect people from making mistakes, but wisdom comes from mistakes. And so you being a father of two 50 year olds, it's really crazy to watch us try to do our best to give them wisdom when we don't realize that the reason for the struggle, the reason for the mistake is to learn the lesson. But being a loving parent, you're like, hey, and, and it's funny, you know, uh, I don't know what this happened. I'm going to have to wait to talk to him. But I thought that I covered everything with my son, Kyle, before he went to Japan, right? And then now he's on the plane. I'm starting to think, what, what, what if this was me? And it's like, oh, man, I didn't go through with him my wisdom of how to find proper transportation to my hotel from the airport. Okay. So I had made mistakes in the past, which a lot of people that have it traveled, where you take trains and to get to a place or a subway or a public transportation, you know, what normally would take you anyway, the public transportation gets you there usually later than if you walked it. Yes. <laughs> you know, but who wants to walk in an area that they know nothing about? And so I did my due diligence. I did my due diligence and realized that uh, Uber is in Japan, but they did something uniquely different with Uber there. They just allowed every taxi driver to be also an Uber driver. Flipping brilliant. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> like I'm going brilliant. So they said not only is Uber and taxis very safe and very reliable, but very inexpensive. So I reached out to Kyle. I'm his father. So what the hell do I know? Right. It's like I said, if I were you, I would ask people in the airport where you could get a taxi. And according to what I've learned, it takes 18 minutes to get from there to your hotel. And he said, dad, I already talked to some other people and I'm using public transportation. I said, awesome. I just wanted to give my information. So, uh, you know, he gets in there about 1030 our time. And then around three o'clock our time. So we're talking 11, 12, one, two, three. He makes it to his hotel in a whopping four hours. <laughs> and his response today was, wow, I sure learned something about trains and subways. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because oh, yeah. it's not only riding on them, but figuring out which one you're supposed to get off on and which one you're supposed to get on and all these other things, you know, it's like, you know, that's called wisdom. I, I don't know if you've ever heard that phrase. Um, uh, a reporter in Europe seen Richard Branson sitting by himself. And so he just walked over to him and he says, can I bother you with a couple of questions? He says, sure. He says, if there's one word that would define your success, what would it be? And he said, wisdom. Without a doubt, wisdom. And then a reporter goes, where do wisdoms come from? And he said, making a lot of effing mistakes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so people, you know, the other, one, the other one I love is you can, Learn from your mistakes or learn from other people's mistakes. And and uh, unfortunately, people know too much, so they got to make their own mistakes. So I said all that, Jay, to say, hey, I, I got the T-shirt and the patch just like you do. And, and it's a pretty exciting going through it. You know what I mean? And then 
I'm like always fascinated, Jay, which uh, don't you find it bizarre that there's actually people that teach that, in my opinion, only mine, unethical, immoral bait and switch? It's like, because oh, I don't know about human beings in general, but I'm pretty sure when a person finds out that you lied to them or you feel in a way manipulated, it's like usually the, the relationship is over. <laughs> but it gets better, Jay. Now that I've manipulated you into my program, you know what I need you to do? This works. So I need you to go out and consciously make a decision to bait and switch and lie to others. It's like, who are you talking to? That doesn't feel good. I'm never going to do that. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. You know, on the onset, when we started talking here, I, I was formulating in my mind the creative side kicks in, right? You yeah. started talking about the things that you would do, and I'm thinking, gosh, I got to go back and, and which I usually do anyway, is scan through the AMAs and a lot of a lot of our events that we have here, and and pick out the key words and phrases, et cetera. And I'm going, what the hell? Why don't I just send it to all thirteen of them, including him? Good ah. idea. <laughs> you just. Good, good. Good idea. <clears throat> but I mean, the, if they watch it, they're going to learn something. I, I really, I really think though that that um, you know, it is pretty funny when this guy comes out and gives you ideas on how you can get around someone like that. You know what I mean? Yes. yes. It's like uh, uh, I even thought at at one time that when someone does that, and I've had it happen to me a lot, where I should just reach out to their people and say. Hey, this guy said so many great things about you, and I'm looking forward to working with you. But yeah. I never get connected to. But anything. he never said that to me, so I'm not going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, um, great question, Jay. Any other questions? Uh, yes, I want to thank you for your uh, message to me the other day. Uh, still haven't figured it out what's going on. Um, I do know that my uh, monies are being apparently filtered through Google that are going to the inner circle. Got it. So I, 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 I got to thinking the other day, maybe I wanted to wait until I got here today to ask you. And then I find out, oh, my goodness, tomorrow is the cutoff. We get this new, the, the uh, uh, imaginary. Imaginators group starting up tomorrow, right. and I'm going, holy crap! How do I cancel this, and then have to reset? Because I've I, I got to figure out now how to rejoin without doing it through Google. So, um, see, Google owns YouTube. Yes. So I don't know if you can pay for any of the memberships without going through Google. Oh. So. And I didn't completely understand the voice message that you'd sent me of what to... Yeah, the way that I it. understand it, the way I understand it is I, I I tried to find it for you and then something had to take my attention. So what I did is I went to YouTube and I put in, where can I see my subscriptions for YouTube subscriptions? And I mm -hmm. got some of the wrong videos. I'm just telling you that I made an attempt for you and then and then something needed my attention. Um, um, so of course it showed me where to change my membership for my YouTube subscription to YouTube TV. <laughs> so I, I was getting close, but um, you could go in there and see your billing and I'm seeing Lisa Marie says it's in the membership area on YouTube. So, wow, we're already getting a uh, uh, deal. So maybe, Jay, you can reach out to Lisa Marie and, and ask her exactly where it is. Because then you could see when the last time that you bought and whether 
you're, it just expired or you, because as soon as you buy Inner Circle, then you also get the Imaginator included. Okay. I, hmm, I guess I could go to the bank and just terminate the account, just resign that in as a new member, right? I think you yeah, could see, do, that's it. You, that, you the, could, I think the confusion here, Robert, is I uh, somehow I I believe when I signed up for it, I put in the my business acronym, the MD uh, CBG Legacy at gmail.com. But okay. it's picking it. It's picking it up as it, I think it says like uh, uh, MD. MDC Business Group, comma J Clark. Then That's it not brings us. up my logo, and I don't know what you're seeing on your side when the money comes back to you. How am I defined? Um, anybody want to jump in? That's that got a membership with us. Uh, that could help. With like when you guys when you guys pay for Inner Circle. Or the uh, inner circle, or the imaginator. I don't know if we got just people that are just imaginators yet. But um, would you guys look at your bank statements or your emails and see what it's saying it's billed at? I believe that it's like it's billed as Google. It, it's 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 so the Peter only and Linda are yeah. saying that it comes as Google. Yeah. 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 So uh, so now I don't understand why when I go to the links to get to the IC or uh, uh, the new ones that we've been doing the past week or so, I can't view it. I, it just says I'm not recognized. I got to go sign up. Yeah, I, I, me personally, all the people that told me they no longer, this hasn't happened one time, Jay, listen closely. Okay. When people do not get emails or cannot see when they go to the YouTube channel to watch a video that, that's already been recorded from Inner Circle or the Imaginator group, when they can't watch it, uh, they usually find out that that they just signed up for a month and that's it. it and, and so I all the people that I've had, they've looked at their bank statement didn't know why it stopped billing and just repurchased. But I just got charged again. It's been a year. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> That's, yeah. you know. Peter Peter asked or Linda asked, hi, Linda, uh, do you have multiple Google accounts? Yes, I do. Okay. I have a personal and I have a business. Yeah, so that these people are figuring out where your deal is. Sometimes what it is, too, is are you looking on the correct Google account that you registered with yeah. um, with Imaginators and Inner Circle? Um, That's come up a couple of times where people are not looking in the proper spot because they registered, let's say, with um, ABC at gmail.com when it should have been DEF at gmail.com. Does that make sense? I don't know how. Uh, when when I get when I go to CBG Legacy email my Gmail account and I click on the link to go to the, the video, mm -hmm. I'm already logged into the GBC. <laughs> well. Yeah, but it, it oh, doesn't matter. In that there. regard, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really specific. It doesn't matter as long as it's the account that you registered with us that is the See, that's, one. I think that's and that's why I was said it at the very beginning. I I'm pretty reasonably sure that I signed up on the on the GBC uh, legacy dot com group. Which is okay. The Gmail. That's what you've got to be a part. Of, that's what you've got to uh, be in with. I'm trying to look something up for oh, us here. Huh. It, yeah, well. um, and where all the information will go to. That's what I'm. I, I, I hope I'm. That's what I want to make sure that you understand. Uh, and, 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 and Jay, if you look at all the comments in the in the chat right now, I guarantee yeah. you one of those will work. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So I'm, I'm going to pop over to the chat. So give me a few minutes before we close out so I can link yeah, to it and do a download Pringle, on it. Craig will show you how to tell you how to download that chat. Well, I, and, I know how to do that. All you do is hit see. save chat right now. <laughs> uh, all we, all we got to do, Jay, is make sure that it's under the right account. Yeah. No, Jay, I, I, okay. Yeah. I am, is it Jay Clark? Did you register as Jay Clark? Yes. J A Y C L A R K. Okay. All right, I show you as being in the group. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I but get the email. I think it depends on the email. Yeah, it depends on, okay, I think it depends on where, which account you're logging in with. That makes a big difference too. I have a couple of different accounts that I have. And if I don't log in uh, using, if I don't find, you know, like uh, the video uh, starting, on the account that I'm using that is associated with my inner circle, then it's not going to apply. Then how do I change from one from CBG legacy to J? J you got to, you got to look at the, just grab this chat because people are yeah, saying, I you can click on the deal and they'll say switch account and it'll automatically switch account. And then people oh, are, okay. Saying, because yeah. And then people okay. are also saying, Jay, that um, that just because you're logged into Google doesn't mean you're logged into the right YouTube account. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, yeah. I, I went to YouTube and I'm going through. Well, what's my account over there? <laughs> and got that. And that's a little bit unique. But I I didn't know about the matching of the yeah. Google ID. Which one is on my YouTube and, account? And, and now you know. I hope so. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. <laughs> give it a shot. And let's we'll, work we'll on see that. you. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bless you guys. Appreciate okay, very much. Craig, and JJ, that. if you have an issue, direct mail, direct message me on Facebook Messenger. Okay. Thank now you. that I know, all right, Craig. We'll go ahead and work on that. Appreciate you, that much. Can you use any of the counts or all of them? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Jay. <laughs> I, I need I need a ghost account that they all <laughs> they synchronize everything else. Why didn't they do those? <laughs> I always love telling people when they send me messages from uh, a fake Facebook account, and they say, "Hey, how you doing?" I go, "Awesome." Can you send me the same message from your real account? That's <laughs> <laughs> good. To all right, Jay. That's I great. love you. I love Thank you. Thank you. I got to go. I'm I'm late. Please close this out. Appreciate it. Right. Thank you. Jay, thank love you guys. so very, very much. I appreciate you. Uh, all right. So that being said, Robert, bless you and thank you. you. Since you're under a time crunch, I'll go ahead and finish up. Uh, Peter and Linda, if you want to uh, look me up on Facebook and we'll go ahead and touch base. Um I, I don't have the time right now, but we'll definitely, you know, connect. So thank you so much for everybody who has shared today. Deborah, thank you so much. We'll have to catch you next time. Um, thank you so much to everybody who participated. Coach Bob, Bill Shoemaker, Sarah Lipscomb, Lisa Marie Cook, Jody Falcon, JJ Clark. And of course, we got to give a shout out to Matthew Hollis. Thank you so much for being our executive producer the man behind all of this, our foundation, our rock. And again, if you are part of the Imaginators group tomorrow at 12 p.m. Pacific, we look forward to seeing you then. It's an exclusive members group only. So you need to go to roberthollis.com forward slash join to, as Robert is sharing and Peter and Linda are sharing and Bill plug in. I got to find mine. Anyways. <laughs> Thank you all so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. If you want to save the chats uh, in Zoom, click on the three dots near the chat, then click on save chat. It will download as soon as we close out this presentation. If you're watching us on YouTube, the chat will replay as soon as the video kind of goes through some gyrations or you can uh, wait for a few minutes and I will make sure that all the links and things that we've shared in this chat are posted in the description below on YouTube. Uh, on behalf of Robert, thank you again so much. We love you. We appreciate you. We look forward to seeing you next time. Please be good to yourselves. 
be cash and bye bye. And until next time, I'm going to go ahead and unmute to those people on the Zoom so that we can all say so long for now. Bye, Thank everybody. Guys. Thank you, Robert. Bye, so long for now. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Go, Dan. Imaginators. Bye, Love Bye, you, guys. Melody. Bye, Daniel. Bye, Jamie. Look for Love Jamie's you, poem. Look I'm for blessed. Jamie's poem. Craig posted it today. Yeah, hey, Jamie's man. poem is on hey, a Arthur. Facebook short or YouTube short. So Jamie. look for it. It's an amazing it? one. Yeah, that's it. Oh, Hi, Deborah. Hi, Jody. Bye, bye. I love you, Robert. Oh, oh that's great. Thank you. Thank you. No, we're Thanks for Jamie. Bob. Oh, okay. Sarah and Bill. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.